It is February and love is in the air. This month, BBB is offering some consumer tips on how to avoid catfishing scams when you're online dating. One of the first signs you're dealing with a catfisher is that uh, the person is too hot to be true. Now we know you're gorgeous and you're wonderful, but if there's somebody who's approaching you who's way out of your age range, for example, or looks like a supermodel, you might want to just double check it, what's going on and, and that should raise a red flag for you. Catfishers are in a hurry to get serious with you. They may tell you they love you, they're to rush into a commitment, and that can be tempting for the lonely hearted. But if somebody's in too much of a rush, you want to keep your wits about you. Catfishers will talk about trust and they'll tell you how important trust is to them in a relationship. What they're doing is they're buttering you up and warming you up for an ask. Uh, they may ask you for money or to uh, wire money uh, or that kind of thing later on. So they want to build that kind of ahead of time. And they, they'll talk about trust a lot. Many catfishers, because they come from somewhere else, uh, will come up with every excuse in the book not to meet. Uh, they may say they're in town, um, but often they're not. They're from somewhere else. And so if somebody is hesitant, they don't want to go for that coffee or they'll always find an excuse to drop out last minute, that's a red flag for you. Often you'll get a, a hard luck story from a catfisher. Um, they'll be romancing you online and having great chats and, and they'll start dropping hints that their electricity might get cut off or they got in a car accident and they can't afford to fix it. Uh, they may not out and out ask for money sometimes, but they will uh, depend on you having a kind heart and, and will tell you some hard luck stories to try and get. They're very practiced and so if somebody is asking you for money within a fa fairly short time of meeting you, uh, please do not wire them money. Uh, do not wire money for them. Um, receive money and then pass it along. Uh, there are a number of different ways that they can scam you out of your hard-earned dollars and leave you empty, pocketed, and brokenhearted. As always, start with trust and visit BBB.org.